Ouch! Statue. Chile. Oh no! Let us bow our head. Let us pray. Children, bow down your head and close your eyes. Afa no mega, the mighty God, we thank you for all the activities that took place last week and this week. We thank you for your guidance. Lord Jesus, come and bless our mommy, bless our teachers, bless all our friends. Lord God, help us to stand for you. Like this theory, young man. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The lesson today is about a time when teen young men were commanded by King Nebuchadnezzar to bow to a golden image he had built. The key verse or the memory verse, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. Daniel chapter 3 verse 17. The text is taken from Daniel chapter 3, verse 1 to 30. But we only go to read a few verses, that is verse 17, 18, and 28. Can we open our Bibles, children? Yeah, well done, well done. I read verse 17. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of their hand, O king. Verse 18. But if not, be it not unto thee, O king, that we will not serve the gods, nor worship the golden image with the has set up. Verse 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Mishrach, and Abednego, who has sent his, sent his angel, delivered his servant and that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Yeah. Let's put our Bible aside. Nebuchadnezzar invited everybody in his province to come to the plain of Dora. When he completed the golden image he had built, the, with, the, with the invitees, you have the tearing young men with all the dignitaries, all the invitees all over to come and worship this golden image. He instructed them, he gave them command that if you hear music, this music, you should bow. Anywhere you are. And if you refuse to bow, he will command them to tie the person up, whoever it is, and throw them into the burning, fiery furnace. Well, these three young men said, Oh, King, we are not going to bow. We are not going to bow to this image. If you will throw us into the fire, we know. 
That's the three young men. They knew the God they serve. That that God will save them. May, may the Lord let us, the good Lord, come and stand for everybody so that we can stand for our God. Amen? They refuse. And when the music came, this children young man said, Oh, King, we are not going to bomb. He took them, ordered the soldiers, tied them up, threw them into this burning, fiery furnace, and increased the heat seven times. The children went in, they tied them up, the children went in, but what happened? All of a sudden, the king that was watching stood up and said, I can see for the fourth person among those people coming out from there. Everybody stood up. The who? Yes, you get. Yeah, 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 yeah. The son of God. Who is that? Jesus was with them and to some records they don't even smell smoke they came up perfectly as they went in the key statement the take home statement is that shall worship their God only for this lesson for ages two to five is this you can see the this color each space that has star when you color it what will come out tell mommy and daddy to help you for ages six to eight here you just put all the multiple answers here just choose one put the correct answer <laughs> Hello, good morning, boys and girls. You're welcome to our Sunday school this morning. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. The title of our lesson today is What is Really Important? The memory verse for the lesson, that's the key verse. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Psalm 90:12. And our text for the lesson is Luke chapter 12, 16 to 21, Luke chapter 14, 16 to 24, and James chapter 4, 13 to 15. But we have just picked a few verses from Luke chapter 14. We're going to be reading 16, 18 to 20, and James chapter 4, 13 and 14. If you have your Bibles with you, Kindly open and let's read along. God bless. Luke chapter 14 from verse 16. Then said unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bed many. 18. And they all with one a consent began to make his kiss. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and say it. I pray thee, have me excused. 19. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. 20. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. James chapter 4, verse 13 and 14. 13. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, I will go into such a city and continue there a year, and buy and sell and get gain. 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Please. You can put your Bibles aside for now. God bless you. This is a very important lesson. 
what is really important. We want to watch a little clip before we dive into the lesson proper. You guys are here. You have to go and do your homework. Oh, stop playing the game. Let's go and do our homework. Yeah, let me just keep playing the game for just a bit of time before I just go do my homework because I have lots of time. Kingsford, are you still playing these games? You know your dad will come home soon. Today is Bible study, so go and do your homework. I just want to play the game. It's so much fun. Okay, it means you cannot go with us to Bible studies. We are leaving you. Need to complete your work. That little clip actually brings us to this important lesson. What is really important? The time we are talking about here is not just only the hours, the day, month or years which just pass by in our lifetime. We go to school, we live our lives, we go to work and do other things. But the time we are talking about here is actually the time we prepare for the coming of our Lord. The ability to align our activity and our, the things we do to be able to give us that opportunity to prepare for the coming of the Lord. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 12 verse Chapter 22, verse 12. That Behold, I come quickly. And the time that Jesus is coming back, we do not know. It's just like Jesus told us that it is not for you to know the times or the hour which is in the hand of the Father. But what we need to do is to prepare and plan our lives to ensure that we are ready to meet the Lord when he comes. Our lesson story tells us, if you remember, Jamie, if you read it, how he came back from school and just threw his bag on the bed and opened it in haste and he brought out his books, his math books, and his video games. The mother came in and was saying, Oh, I heard you looking for something. What is it you're looking for? And he never answered. But he knew what he was looking for. What was he looking for? His video game. He picked up the video game that was given to him, or that was that was given to him by his friend Keth. And he started watching. Even after the mom has told him a list of what they wanted to do for the day, the first thing the mother put on the list was for him to do his homework and make preparation for his social studies quiz that was coming up the next day. The next thing mommy told him that we're going to have to see grandma by 4.30. We'll prepare for dinner. We'll also have to stop by and check some things in the shop before they close by 6 o'clock. And guess what? Jamma nodded and said, yes, I'll be done before then. But did he do it? No. You know the story. Rather than starting up with his homework, Jamma started playing with his video game. He played and because he was so engrossed, he was so carried away, he stayed there for a long time. And after an hour, the mother called, Daddy is back, come downstairs and get the dishes washed and ready for dinner. And he was not happy. He looked at the time. Oh, it's already five o'clock. Oh, I never knew you have played as long as that. You know? He wasted all his time 
playing on the video game. Was it wrong for him to have a little time of play? No, but he never set his priority right. There is time for everything. At the end of the day, his dad couldn't pick him or take him to grandma's place because he has not prepared for his quiz the next day and he had not done his homework. He missed that visit and he had to do the homework very late. So when his dad came back, the dad has to sit him down and tell him the implication of not using his time well. The Bible portion we read told us of God the Father, just like a parable of a man who prepared a supper and sent invitation to invite people to come and enjoy and dine with him. But when the servant went and asked them to come because the, the supper was ready, they all gave excuses. One said I was going to check my farm i'm going to try my oxen oh i have just married a wife i want to go and you know just have some time with her i cannot come all that they said they were doing were there things that are bad no none of these things are bad things to do but they were not the things that they should be doing at that time because they already had an appointment with the Lord. So we have to check the times that we use for what we are doing. If you take the time that you need to be praying to play, you are not using your time well. If you even take the time that you should pray for salvation like today, the Bible tells us when we hear the word of God, we should not harden our heart. We should not postpone or procrastinate. But when you say, no, I'm going to pray tomorrow. When I come to church on Sunday, I'm going to pray and get saved. Who knows what tomorrow will be? God wants us to do what we can do for him today. Because tomorrow is not in our hands. And if we do what God wants us to do, especially for our spiritual growth, we are going to be blessed. Why does the Bible encourage us to use our time for spiritual things? Because these are the things that will give us eternal life. And these are the only thing we can take out of this world when we die. We are not going to take our certificates though they are okay they are important we're not going to take our children when we grow up we're not going to take anything our video games whatever you have here on earth we're going to only take our salvation the word of God and the the, the, the reward of what time we have used for the Lord which will be jewels and precious stones for us in glory what does it mean to work circumspectly. It means to redeem in the time, to consider what we are doing. Before we act or judge or decide, we need to consider it very well, whether it is worthwhile or not. We don't just do things because others are doing it, but we want to think and consider what is the scale of preference? Where do we place what we want to do now? Should it be at the top or at the bottom? Will it give glory to God or not? When we do that, we are walking circumspectly. God wants us to begin to plan our time better than what we normally do before. If you had not had any time to spend with the Lord in prayers, God wants you to start doing that. You've not had any time to prepare and practice your instrument to play in church. This is the time for you to do it because after life here on earth, we don't have opportunity anymore if we didn't do it here. And the only thing that we are going to show it for what God has done for us 
anything that we want to show on the other side of eternity is only what we have worked for the Lord. So God wants us to consider, reframe from using our times in doing things that do not bring glory to God or spending all our time in doing things that are just going to give us earthly pleasure. But we want to invest our time in things that will bring glory to God and also will earn us eternal blessings in heaven. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you will like to rearrange how you use your time so that you can use your time more for the Lord because we just have a short life to live. The lesson activity is, if the Lord wills, fill in the words that are missing from the biblical account of the Great Supper. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for the primary power lesson. Thank you for the answer class lesson. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us to know what is important today. Give us the grace to align our activity to your own glory, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.